And we're back. This is episode number 32. Let's head out of Dark Town and head up to High Town. We can go shopping for Rune. Actually, we don't really need to go to High Town, do we? We can just go to our house. Where is our house? Fuck Estate. And we have mail. Two birds, one stone. Let's head to the writing desk. Desk well. first. There's another letter waiting on your desk. Hawk, I found a lead on our cargo thefts and have urgent need of your expertise. Please meet me in Hightown's market during business hours. You bear. Well, he's um my business partner, right? So I would guess there's been cargo thefts. I better check that out. The business keeps booming. I need income now that I've uh, spent most of the money from my expedition. And yeah, we're getting back there. These are actually not bad. Well, at least the game thinks they're not bad. Um, how you doing, Mother? I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I've heard that pirate girl of yours talk. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. Yeah, what, what do you want? You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. Sure, there are plenty of eligible bachelors around your age out there. Make sure they're not like a, a gold digger, because we do have a lot of money, so kind of prenup. Um, all right, so we need runes, but how many runes do we need is the question. We'll go on potions. We have plenty of poison. Okay. As far as these go, Dark Haven Longbow. Okay, we could use an Allure's Crook. Oathbreaker, we still haven't given Defenders yet. He might need more strength. Shades Fury. You want to give that to Aveline? Possibly. Definitely want to get four more runes for these two. Almost not worth upgrading all these weapons if we change them around so often, but okay. Yeah, these do have the enemy drop more coins thing. Maybe only some upgrades add slots. Some add other things. That's what it looks like. I'll have to check some of these guys next time I head into the party. Alright, we need one. Just one more for Sebastian's armor. Need one and then three more runes of lightning. I can make it for you. Yep. One second, Sandal. We order the runes first. We have striking. Oh, we need more Ori Calcum for this one. Increases critical chance. I like the sound of that. Um one more of these. Yeah, fire and lightning are the same. We have a rune of frost, or I guess not. Alright, let's make what, the three of these. It does get to be a little pricey. Alright, so we will keep an eye out for more for a calcum then. Apparently we didn't miss any in Act 1, so there's got to be a couple in Act 2. That'll be good for whatever my next weapon is. Maybe. But at the same time, between my auto-critting abilities and my auto-crits from precise striking or whatever it's called, it might not be that useful after all. Alright, so let's give these electricity damage. And this is our cave and lock. Fades Fury, we're not going to upgrade, at least not yet. Right now, Aveline is not even using it. Alright. I can make it for you. Those are upgraded. And who do we have with us? Fenris, Isabella, and Eric, I believe. Okay, um... Nothing else to do at night, so let's see about the daytime. High Town, one true pantaloons. 
that is. Go here first. Maybe we'll stop by the Viscount's place as well and let him know about the black powder plot. Have we been to these shops? You really ought to take that offer, Elf. It'd okay. keep the coterie off your back pretty much permanently. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Ghost in more ways than one. I think we already shot here. Alright, let's give... Henry's that hammer. He can use it. Can't. He needs more strength. Whoa, his current weapon actually sucks. When's the last time I upgraded that thing? Um, Alright, this is better. We can sell these two then. It's pure, I want to save for Aveline. The longbows we can sell, and probably the stabs as well. This. That. This. These. Probably all of these as well. Armor we can't use. That. Um, these boots are better. All right. So what's this about Pantaloo? A fist fell into my hand. Hey, now we get one gold you piece. Recognize it? Simple as that. Just a walk and drop. Amazing. We still have these little tool tips. Like I know what a level up is by now. I'm at level 15. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's, let's get 40 cunning, and then we'll put more points to dexterity after that. But uh. It increases our crit chance, means we can now unlock every chest in the game, I'm pretty sure. So... What is this? Oh, okay. So then you have friendship with Isabella. You get attack speed for both of them. I like that a lot. See? I knew we'd get along. Good team. Alright. Um, there's lots of upgrades I can get. Maybe not. So do I need... Looks like before I get any more... Things he well, do I really want decoy? Not really. I don't want this one. That's like a last priority. Yeah. As long as our tank is good, we shouldn't have too many threat issues. Not on normal mode, at least. Um, let's put some points into the assassin tree. This would be really good. Fascinate deals a critical hit, who would otherwise be immune. That alone would be almost worth it. And brittle. Let's, go. Let's get that. So assassinate is really good against brittle. And close to strike is good against staggered. I will have to remember that. Explosive strike. Oh, explosive strike, not twin fangs. And thanks good as well, or no? No, not really. Alright. Explosive Strike is against Sagard. Fascinate against Brittle. Um, Alright. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Uh, do I know him? I don't, I don't think I do. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. That's the problem with being a big fish in a small pond. I could never tell the little fish apart. 
Well, he bragged to his fellows that he grew up with you in Lutheran. I feel like he's lying, because even when I was playing the game as Aravale, I don't remember this guy. Um. Yeah, alright, let's go. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Don't play cards with Kunari, it's impossible to tell when they're bluffing. Don't play against Elves. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel. I feel like Isabella could probably beat some Kunari though in cards. Um, even if she has to cheat. So, yeah, I think it'd be good to play good cop, bad cop. I'll be the bad cop. Relin gets to be the good cop. He can't talk with a mouthful of broken teeth. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and lothering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. <laughs> I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Monsieur. A slothering folk should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends, and cook while we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell you what you want to know, they'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much, but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. Oh, there's a special choice. Is that because I was nice to him, maybe? Hubert's first love is gold. You must have some squirreled away. I'll tuck some coin away for the future. But if it buys me a future out of prison, Hubert can have it. There you go. You take that away from your family, but I mean, you Hawk. shouldn't have stolen. In the this first is place. Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. I met her. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug. Are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Um, not gonna lie, I had a text message and I was reading that and I didn't actually hear what they said. Um, take him with oh, taking the uh, the guy. So, letting him? Are you not really letting him go? I don't want her to take him or send him to prison. But is that my money that I'm giving him? Or am I getting money? What does the money one mean? Sabine will pay you back if you let him go. Oh, really? I'm more inclined to beat the coin out of this sheep's swallop and then kill him. He's nothing, Hubert. Take his offer and cut him loose so we can get back to business. Fine. Get me your ill-gotten coin before I change my mind. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. Oh, it took 30 seconds. Stop complaining. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make the rotters pay. We did come here as soon as we could, so it's not like we really messed up. Lots of mercenaries. Um, everybody got their buffs going? Let's level up first. Now you need more strength so you can use that thing. But I think you need 30 strength. Fortunately, we can only get 29. Um, let's get... Rowan seems pretty good. So does Scythe. 
damage 51 and double the force. Oh, they're both about the same. One's a charge, one's a uh, roll. Also, just make Mighty Blow better. Or I could do damage. It'll be hurt a lot, so it might be good just to just do overall damage. Barrick. Let's give you. Um, upgrade that. Or we could start giving him some stuff from one of the support trees. I don't like. I mean, the combos are nice, but at the same time, I don't want him using up my combos. Kind of a debate between giving him more abilities or upgrading his current abilities. I'm not going to give him this. I think I, I love Obscure because it gives me more bonus and it helps defensively for my entire party. Points required in Sabotage 3, though, and I only have one so far. I guess you have to take Rush as well. It's just weird to give an archer a rush. I feel like Isabella would be better suited for that tree. Give Varus or Mistis. Did I give that to somebody else though? I'm going to save his points actually. And I'm going to go through and make sure. Because we have so many rogues, I can't keep them all straight at this point. I want to go through like after this episode and see um, which ones have which. Go to that real quick. All right. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. Let's do some damage. Okay. Ambush leader. Twin strike. Yeah, he's a lieutenant. We'll follow that up with an assassinate. Down you go. Alright. Um, no use using a death mark on any of these guys. They're all just normal enemies. Use pinpoint strikes. Here we go. Almost up. There we go. How many of you got talk? What a mess. But there's more. Right about you. Alas. More level ups. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. Interesting. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His luckies are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Alright, so let's get some of our loot first. And then it's to the Undercity. Ace. Equation. 8 damage versus Quinari. Decent staff, but better. I don't think he can use that hammer yet. Nope. Needs one more strength point. Alright, we'll get there eventually. Anything up here? Anything over here? Same typical clearing that we've seen a hundred times before. Oh, this one you can't even go down to the beach over there. All right, let's leave then. And she wanted to meet at night or during the day? Night, apparently, of course.
So what do you do in that gigantic house all day? Dance, of course. Really? I run from room to room, choreographing routines. <laughs> You're actually joking. Alert the Chantry. They need to put this on the calendar. And you thought I was always serious. Uh-oh. Guess her meeting didn't go so well. Oh, wait. Never mind, I thought that was her. Don't let them get away! Oh, wait, that was her. You Coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? She looks really familiar. Like, really, really not familiar. Really similar, rather, to Lily. Her sisters or something? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. This is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. I like how they wear like the same armor like I used to have back when I was just random scum in this town. Oh, a barrel. Alright. This, oh, maybe that was the lady. Rotary Barker. Turn up your purses, Kurtwall. The yeah. leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. They all look the same. Everyone in the coterie is like a blonde, curly haired female, apparently. Up oh, here we go. Watch your step! Oh! Close. Alright. Done! Um, let's use a miasma flask. Haven't used one of those in a while. Now you fall! I like how she like ninja rolls into like lampposts and things. It can't be it. Maybe it can. The weakest group of mobs ever. But alright. Oh shit, how's our inventory doing? Yeah. A little more space. Probably should have sold all my junk when we were in high town. But... Alchemist. Mage. I want to put a death mark on them, but I feel like when they make those shields, it goes away. Back him. Okay, oh, alright, there you go. I'll death mark him. And now he goes away. Yeah, now he's up there and he has. Do you have a death mark? I guess he does still. I get to him though, so. Oh, what was that? That was a good knockback. Credit where credit is due. Broke my chain as well. There we go. Oh, designed for a rune of spirit. I think I might actually use that one. Spirit damage. That's uh, arguably better than lightning damage. I think each one has their pros and cons. I'm assuming that lightning still drains stamina in this game, whereas spirit is just goes through most resistances. My assumption at any rate. Whether or not it's true remains to be. Alright, is this Brecken? I think so. You must be Brecker. And Brecker. you're that lice covered refugee. <laughs> yeah, that, that elven armor looks better on a girl than a guy. Stop attacking it. Yeah, now he does. Hope you enjoyed saying that. Those are the last words you'll ever speak. I can make a deal with people who got me. The one thing these people respect? And that's a sword. Okay. He's a rogue too. That's a I could beat you in my sleep. Surely you can't hope to best me. Alright, here he is. Let's uh get our steps 
went down pretty easily for a... I guess he wasn't a boss. So he was kind of... Stay down. Yeah, that assassin to go. Uh, assassinate waiting for him. Remind me never to get on our bad side. Seems to be unhealthy. Additive. Alright. Superior Light Gauntlet. Yeah, we're getting to the point now where I probably should change up my gear. Ooh. Oh, it's a warrior. I keep finding warrior and mage gear. Not any good. Again, ornate rogues belt plus two stamina regen. Like, that's not oh, that that's... great. Alright. Um, why is our quest marker here? We killed him. I'm too fast, maybe. We've already seen everything in this area, so. Onward. We get to report our success to Hubert now. Yep, we do. Before we do that, though, First let the me. Haberdasher, then the grocer. All this stuff. One of upgrades, not gonna bother with them. Eighteen attack and two physical, or twenty attack and more stamina. Are they the same armor rating? This one's slightly better. Oh, that makes it tough. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one anyway. Once I don't want to, we can probably sell that now. It has less armor, less attack boost. Yeah. Serve me well, Alchemist Protective Handguards, but time to get rid of you. All I really need is a uh Good headpiece. And I'll be happy to switch out my gear. Alright. Good news, my friend. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo thefts. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Yay, got some gold out of that. I share the profits, I guess. How are you doing, Worthy? Heard your jaunt into the deep roads went rather well. Good for you. You could say that. My I still want to find that idol. To the needy. I feel like that's Sorry. important. Um. All right. So uh, let's before we end this episode, talk to the Viscount. I can find my way out of here Tea, again. A leg of ham, daisy six pound haul. Can you guys use any of those upgrades? Uh, amulet, 31 attack. Yeah, that's better than what she has right now. My attack is still kind of low. I could almost use that. But the one I currently have is better anyway. Alright. To the Viscount! This is the long road. I don't remember that quest. Is that, I feel like that's part of the main quest, though. Look it up once we get there. It also could be an Aveline thing. I don't see a marker over there. Uh, Alright, so it's... Man's of the Q and just says the root of the problem must be found. Seems like we can't pursue that one yet. We can turn in this quest. And the long road is... Okay, Aveline does want to talk. So let's talk to the Viscount first, and we'll go talk to Aveline. Oh, is Aveline... Oh, there's an evil tome here as well. Alright, we'll grab that in a second. That's why the other quest isn't marked, because... Companion quest. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a anxiety. whole street. An accident on purpose. More or less. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. 
And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. He's a hair from the edge. You need to keep everyone calm. Too late, I fear. It's a shame. He was making overtures of cordialness. Your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? A Kunari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? Are they missing or are they hiding somewhere in this castle? Also, I, I really think they need to get like mobilize their military, whatever it is, because... I mean, obviously they have a very large fighting force right in the docks. The Quinari, that is. And, uh, I mean, Kirkwall has to have a means to defend itself. Like, it's a, it's a, not just a city, it's a city-state. Like, what happens if somebody invades your lands? You have to have a military of some sort. Seriously, call them, and, like, you're, it's surprising the main garrison of that military isn't here in the city somewhere. I mean, they have the city guard, they have the Templars, but are those really their only military forces? Is that the only thing they have to fight raiders and bandits and other city-states? Like, there had to have been wars between them and the other areas of the free marches in days past. I assume they wouldn't just suddenly get rid of their entire militia. I don't know. Whatever they do have, though, I was just mobilizing them because the Kunari are here for something, and I don't think it's something we're going to like. I guess, well, I guess it's the idol they want. We already kind of figured that out. Which I think is Isabella's idol. But where it actually is, even we don't know. Do the Kunari generally keep you updated? Kunari do not disappear. They know we watch, and they are not shy about their movement. Speak to Seneschal Brown. He has details that show how damning this is. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Kunari, but it will cost all of us. Yeah, for, uh... You don't want to provoke the Kunari. For all their strengths, they don't seem very stealthy, though, so it doesn't seem like they would just appear like that. All right, Seneschal, what can you tell us? You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. He really doesn't like me. Often that one response? Like, I feel like, like in one of my other playthroughs, this guy like likes me a lot, but maybe I'm just not remembering that correctly. Has anyone reported this to the Canari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The Arishok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arishok wanted to take over, he simply would. Yeah. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. Alright, so maybe they're not just like waiting somewhere in the keep. Maybe they really did get killed. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess otherwise they could just assassinate the Viscount. Um, so where would you start, if you were the starting type? I would begin with the most obvious failure. It's clear the city guard has no excuse for allowing this, unless they were involved. Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. 
you should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The Hanged Man. Hanged Man. Definitely. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. All right, we the should Vicar probably bring Aveline to that meeting as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do this little Tome of Knowledge quest thing. And then we'll end the episode after that. Stirring of power as you look upon it. I wonder if you get like maybe an attribute point for each one, or if you get you get one talent, you read all three. Not sure how it works. I don't think it's one uh, one talent for each, because that'd be really powerful. Too bad. Some boots. All right. Well, that's that then. Wasn't too difficult. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. When we come back, we will talk to Aveline and begin one of these two quests. See you then.